This is a project of mine from a few years back. It's a robotic vehicle platform thing, never quite could define it, that I kind of christened Kevin, again for no particular reason. Um, but at the time uh, it worked really, really well. Uh, it was a kind of a decent, very strong um, platform that could carry a lot of weight. It was quite a fun thing to play around with. But at an event a little over a year ago, the motor started to fall apart. Um, and so I kind of parked it in the corner here and never really looked at it since. I'd kind of half I lost interest in the project at the time, so there was no motivation to fix it or find out what went wrong. But I've decided to revisit it now, kind of pull this out, take a look at the motors, see what is exactly wrong with them, and see if I can get this thing up and running again. You can see here one of the uh, motors that's at fault. I ended up kind of just crudely wrapping a bit of gaffer tape to try and catch some of the grease or the oil that was leaking out. So what I'm going to do is kind of uh, prop this up and bolt one of these motors and take a look. So this is the main Volti motor and as you can see I've taped up something here to stop something falling out so I'll try and peel this back and see what's going on. There seems to be some kind of plug that came out that must have taped back into place. Looking at it this motor must be like a, a dual sided one. So the same fitting on both sides and then depending on its uh, use case left or right one side is plugged up why this plug came out in the first place is hard to say but we need to get it back in and sealed up i've cleaned up this plug and i've pushed some of the grease back away from the edges so i'm going to try and force this in place seems to have gone back in place. I don't know how reliable it's going to be though. I couldn't think of a, a reliable way to properly seal this. So what I've done is just put um, electrical tape back over the top that seemed to adhere pretty well last time. And at least if it does go, I'll be able to see it rather than if I'd kind of sealed something else on top, it might not be visible what had happened. The other problem I've encountered with these motors is this top plate here separating from the motor body. And so in this one, for example, grease started to seep through. But I think this is down to my, my kind of mistake years ago in mounting them. So they've got a lot of kind of bolts which run through. And I had removed these bolts and kind of run them straight through from the top. And so what I think has happened in the case of this particular one is that the, the bolts running through on this side here wasn't long enough to pass all the way through to the body. So this top plate was bolted onto the chassis, meaning this bottom half here was free just to sag a little bit and pull and so grease seeped out. So I think what I'm going to do is get some new bolts and bolt this through uh, a lot better basically. Just really make sure all the motors are securely fitted with long bolts running all the way through. The wheel and the motor is back in place now. It's still bolted on in the same old crappy way, so that is uh, replacing the bolts and reattaching is definitely on my to-do list. But I've, um, it's meant to run on 24 volts, but I've hooked up a single 12 volt battery, which should be enough to power it, just to see if it still moves. Okay, getting red low battery lights, an error for low battery, but there's lights across the place. Um, it seems to still, so yeah, it's still quite nippy. It drags itself around in circles.
and it's got it tends to have enough power just to push its way through most things. So for today, I'm really pleased. It is, um, it's not dead. The motors still work. Um, I, I was really worried the motors were buggered and they are expensive to replace. It's, it's not something I was prepared to do, but it still functions. I think the, the next step now is to reattach the motors and get them fitted properly. And then look at the power systems for this. It ran on these uh, 12 volt lead acid batteries, which were fine, but I feel with the, the prevalence of lithium batteries nowadays we can do something a little bit better. So I'm going to take a look into the battery situation uh, for the next update.